guys, the Import Magic here. Welcome to Sea Life on Stanton. Uh, we're here for the uh, Ascarian Halloween event. It's the day before Halloween, but it won't be a vlog today. It'll be a narration like Goose Fair. So here's the narration. So I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna miss an opportunity for views. <laughs> I'm only joking, I don't care how many views I get. These animals are so cool. Oh look at that shot, look at that. Waterfall and penguin. No. Oi James, James, there's another there's another trail over here. There's another thing for our trail. Oh my goodness, you can't even see. 
So it's a frog for this one. In the escape, you still can't see it. You still can't. No, you can't see it on the camera. You can't. You can't even pick you up on the camera. Never mind covering your face. So, so the silhouette of James. Are you excited for the trail? Oh yes, we should. We should all go in that. Is it a frog? Yes, it is a frog. Write it down. I know you can't see him, but he's writing it down. But anyway, this is really cool. Some fishes over here. Chilling. Chilling. Look at these. Move about. These are fun. I'm going in that um, thing. Have you heard these? Yeah. Cheers. So, so far on the list, we've crossed off. Can you even see? No, you cannot. Let me try and put it here. Can you see? Yes. We've got a witch hat, a frog, and a spider on the Iscarium. So there you go. That's what's on the list. Still out of focus. This camera is rubbish for stuff like this. But yeah, see you like Stanton. This is my first time coming here, even though I go to Stanton on holiday nearly every year. This is really lovely. And as I said, the day before Halloween, and we're doing a little Halloween trail, so really fun so far. There's literally, a, look at the crocodiles right up against the glass. It's me staring at them. Oh, she's off. She's, she's, gone. she's gone. She's too scared. So I've been told to crawl under this bit. Oh, flipping out. It's like a scare maze. Oh, 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 buddy. What's under here? Here we go. Oh, flipping out. I know, it's got his eyes open. Flipping out, he's got his eyes open. Flip. So if you don't know, that's the enclosure. Oh, yeah. This is oh, us. Yeah. There's another crocodile just Where? there. Alligator oh, thing. Oh, look how it's got his eyes open. What if it's... No, his eyes are shut. No, it isn't. Is it not? Look at it. Look at that eye. Look it, at that. You can't. You can't come through though. Yeah, but look at it. Oh, but on the plus side, look. There's turtles. Oh, I didn't realise. Look at its eye. Look. Look at the turtle move. Oh. Oh, turtles are my favourite sea creatures, so this is what this is how I notice them. Hello, babies. Oh my god. Wait, well, I'm not on the live video. There's James. Hello, James. Right. Got to crawl back through the hole of the scare maze now. In a bit. Oh, I made it through. Back up. Where do we go? Through there. Obviously. See you in a bit. Nemo's Emonies. Nemo. Nemo and all his cousins are living in their own Emonies. Yeah, but where's the, where's that massive shark? <laughs> Get Dory. You Dory. Got, Dory. Oh. You got short-term memory loss. Dory. Hey James, there's another. There's another one. Literally every room has a little clue. Oh James, bats. Look at that. Can you see the bat? There he is. The little bat. Whoa! Look at that. Oh, this is. What? What? That is long. I know. That's nice. I think it's an easy. Oh, look, look through here. Let's do this bit. Oh, lovely. And there it is again. Oh, that's a tick. That's a tick. Do you know what, James? If you look through the camera, if you look through the camera, would you. Oh, and another one. There's a missing one in here as well. What is that? Is that, is that what we need to look for? I can't. Is that a magnifying glass? Is that what it is? Oh, it's cool. You can see the fishes, but bigger. So, what is the thing that we're looking for in here? What do you think it is, James? I can't seem to spot it. So we've got over here a bat. Oh, over here, would it be this? I think it might be the microscope. I, I, I don't know. Is that a microscope? Yeah. Probably. It's probably that, but anyway. 
the camera really doesn't do its justice in this room like honestly it's like 10 times more colourful like the stingrays are so much more colourful that they're adorable look at it it's looking at the camera bless him this is so cute cool oh my god I forgot about these they're literally like a bubble in the sky but yeah the camera really doesn't do its justice in this room but let's hope it does in the green room which is more penguins Stick. We've realised it's a broomstick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a broomstick. Right, so we've got bat and a broomstick. A broom broomstick! Broomstick! See life on Stanton? I've been there. I've, I've genuinely been there. If you get that pun, please just, please just, just like this video if you got that pun. Because that was a terrible pun, but I think it, I thought it was pretty good at the time. Okay, now Bess has got excited by seals, hasn't she? Seals are cool. See? Oh, they down here. What the flip? Oh my God, there's a seal up here. Oh, when he's gone under. Oh, and there's a swimming one over there. Yeah, I'm going. I'm coming down to this enclosure. Oh. <laughs> oh, flip. So sea life rescue a lot of animals like seals, so there you go. Whilst they're still hugging and kissing the seals, I quite like otters. Look at them. They're very, oh it's looking at the camera. Yeah, otters are very cool. I, I love otters, yeah, they're, they're very good. But. You've, you all know uh, sea life, it's similar to the deep hull. You get like times that like they talk about the animals. So for the penguins, it's 12 and 3. 3 o'clock is also the latest time for a person to come in. So if you come in at 3, that's the last time you can come. So you can't come in at 1 minute past 3, I'm pretty sure anyway. I don't know, I've confused myself there, but yeah. So this is Fliss and Chips, I'm imagining. These two, so our Asian short clawed otters, Fliss and Chips, were introduced in 2001. Wow. Love soon blossomed over the next few weeks, years, next few weeks. I, I said it again. Last next few years, on Stanton Seal Life Sanctuary first became one of the UK's main captive group breeding sites for otters. Since then, we've successfully reared over 20 cubs, which have settled into new homes all over Europe, including Loch Lamond, can't say that, and Birmingham Sea Life Centres. So that's very cool. And here's the little homes for the otters as well. Um, Fliss and chips. So. Yeah, I had a nice swim there. Yeah, the weather's a bit cold today, but it don't really matter. But yeah, this is this has been amazing. When we thought the mission was over, flipping sharks and turtles flipping up. Oh yes, it's a proper. Oh, it's a proper dome, isn't it? Yeah. Love these.
afternoon and welcome to the Hunstanton Sea Life Sanctuary. So my name's Lucy and while one of the animal care team is feeding everyone now. this tank, I'll give you a little bit of a chat about it. We have four different types of shark in here. So the ones that you can see continuously swimming with the black tips and those dorsal fins are our black tip reef sharks. What? The ones with black stripes and spots are our banded hound sharks. Are a bit paler with white whiskers are our brown banded bamboo sharks, and the ones with the white spots are our white spotted bamboo sharks. So you'll also notice this massive dinosaur skeleton that we have. Out of dinosaurs, sharks, and turtles, sharks have actually been on our planet the longest. So the earliest sharks were around about 450 million years ago. Sharks also don't have any bones, unlike us. So instead, their entire skeleton is made out of cartilage, which is what our ears and nose are made out of. So this makes them much lighter and more flexible, so they can swim faster in the water. Now in the world, there are over 500 different species of shark. The largest is the whale shark, which can reach 12 metres in length. And the smallest is dwarf-bellied lantern shark, which rarely reaches 15 centimetres. Now, out of these over 500 species, only four of them are considered to be dangerous to humans. So we have the oceanic white tip, the bull shark, the tiger shark, and of course the great white shark as well. So a great white shark's favourite food isn't really people, it's actually seals. So when seals go to reefs looking for fish for food, sharks will also go to these reefs looking for the seals, but surfers also go to reefs looking for waves. So this is when a lot of the confusion can happen. So on average there's about 5 to 12 fatal shark bites every year. And what happens is a shark will be cruising along the seabed and they will see a silhouette on the surface of what they think is a seal. Now you can imagine how similar a surfboard and a seal do look to a shark when it's on the surface and there's waves in the way. So it is very easy to mistake them. So because a shark doesn't have any hands, the only thing they then have to grip onto their prey with is their mouth. So when they see the silhouette, they will accelerate towards it. A great white can reach speeds of 50 kilometers per hour. They're really fast and then they'll have to take a big bite out of their find out what it is. Now if you have been bitten by a great white shark, then you've been bitten by nature's most efficient cutting machine. So in our lifetimes we'll go through about 52 teeth, but a great white shark can go through 30,000. And this is because from when they're born to when they die, they are constantly replacing their teeth to ensure that they are always razor sharp. About 98% of shark bites on humans are rejected, and this is because inside a shark's mouth they have loads of specialised taste buds which can gauge the nutritional quality of what they're eating. So, when a shark bites onto a person, they spit us back out because these taste buds will realise that we take more energy for the shark to digest than it would get from eating us. So, a bit like when we eat celery. But if the surfer has been bitten and the shark does swim away, they have another problem to face because inside a shark's spit there's a special enzyme and that prevents blood from clotting. So they really do need to find help as soon as they can. Now some of you might think sharks are quite scary, but really people are a lot more scarier to sharks. And this is because humans kill about 70 to 100 million sharks every year and there are two main reasons for this. So the first one being that they are part of a bycatch. So this just means that sharks can get tangled up in miles and miles of fishing tackle and they're caught by accident. And the second reason is really bad and that is for shark fin soup. So this is particularly popular in China. And what happens is fishermen will catch sharks and they will slice their fins off while they're still alive and then they'll throw them back into the water where they will either bleed to death or drown. So it's really horrible and the shark fin 
actually add no flavour to the soup whatsoever. It's all the other ingredients that do that. So it's really only a dish to show off to your family and friends and to show how much money you have. So if you were to go into a Chinese restaurant and see shark fin soup on the menu, I would recommend turning around and leaving straight away because as soon as we cut the demand for it, the sooner sharks won't be killed for such a silly reason. really important to us. So our oceans give us 80% of the world's oxygen, which is quite a lot, and sharks will eat the small fish that eat the plants that give us this oxygen. So if suddenly we were to have no sharks, then that would mean that there would be more fish eating more plants, and that would mean that we have less oxygen. And we don't really want to be thinking about that. So moving on to our turtle. So this is Ernie. He's a green sea turtle and he hatched in the Cayman Isles in 2002 and when he was four years old we saved him from a turtle farm. So when we saved him we had the decision to make of whether we would release him back into the wild or whether we would keep him here with us. But at this point Ernie had been humanised which just means that he now associates humans with food. So if we did release him back into the wild he'd probably be in a bit of the best thing we can do is to keep him here with us. So Ernie is a boy, and we can tell this because his tail is longer than his back two flippers. So if he was a girl, then his tail would be a lot shorter. There are also seven different species of sea turtle, and Ernie's species is the second largest. The largest is the leatherback, and they can reach to be about two metres in length, but Ernie will roughly reach to be about 1.2 metres. But when he hatched, he was about the same size as a 50 pence piece. So the ocean is quite a cruel place for such a small animal. So the best thing they can do is to get big fast. So sea turtles start their life on a high protein diet. <laughs> and I am a witch! Yeah. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm not just any witch though, I am a sea witch and do you know why? Because I like to protect all of those wonderful creatures we have in the ocean, that's why. Do you like to help out the animals too? Yeah. You do! Oh that's good. So when you're finished with your rubbish and your litter, where does it go? In the bin. In the bin, that's right. It doesn't go in the sea, does it? No, that wouldn't be very good at all. So out of those wonderful creatures you saw around Sea Life today, which one did you like the most? We're going to start off on this side. The turtle. The turtle, Ernie, through there. He's called a green sea turtle. Not because of the colour of him, but what's inside of him. He's got green fat, and that's where his name comes from. And that's from eating vegetables. And over time, it stained his fat green. And I've been told they even give him Brussels sprouts for Christmas. Ha! Yes? Otters. Otters outside, did you see all of the yeah. pebbles down with them? Yes. They pick up the best one to use it, just like a bar of soap to keep themselves clean. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Which one did you what like? Fish? The fish? That's a good start, you're in the right place. <laughs> yes, any specific fish? Hey. Do you remember what colour they were? <laughs> no, was it the starfish? No? Yeah, I was a starfish. Yours was a starfish, was it? Yeah? Did, did you have a favourite or not? Do you like them all? He said he likes the penguins. You like the penguins? I like the penguins. You like the fish? Yes. <laughs> so the penguins have to blush bright pink from their faces and down to where their knee area is. And if you see them doing that, they're cooling themselves down on a hot day. Yes? And you like the starfish, my dear? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that they can see where they're going? Did you? How many eyes do they have? Do you know? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, how many do you think they've got two eyes like you? Uh, yeah. Really? They've actually got more eyes than you. They've got five. They've got one on each end of their leg. Yeah. yeah. That's more than you've got. Yes, we'll come over to here next. What's that? I've got a bat. You have got a bat? Yeah. Yeah. Have we got any around here? Oh, the seals. They're lovely, aren't they? Yes, they do have a hole on each side of their head, don't they? And that's where their ears are. If you have a sea lion, their ears stick out and you're able to see them. Oh, I like meatloaf the seal. Meatloaf the seal. Yeah. Yes, they're very, very lovely. They're very cute. And all the seals can hold their breath underwater for around half an hour at a time. Half an hour? Yes? What about oh, around here? The starfish as well. Do you know that when they lose a leg, they can grow their leg back? Yes. Did you also know once they lose that one leg, the one leg, if it has enough of the middle of the starfish attached to it, will grow into a brand new starfish? Yes. Wow, I know. What was your favourite? Shark. Oh, you're part shark. Did you know that? You are. We all are. Wiggle your noses. That's it. And wiggle your ears. They're made from something called cartilage, and that's exactly what a shark is made from. They've got no bone, like your arm and your leg. It's all cartilage, like your nose and your ears. You're all part shark. Yes? And what was yours, my dear? Pink. Pink. Well, she said pink. Pink, like the penguins, honey. <laughs> yeah? Was there any other animal that you liked? Pink ones. Oh, was there a pink fish? Was there? Daddy. Was there? Dad, yes. oh, I wonder which ones they must have been. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes, the regal tang. So the tang family is the largest family, and that includes all the ones on land too. The tangs. You'll find so many tangs. There's unicorn tangs through there. There's yellow tangs and there's regal tangs like Dory. Yes, so many tangs. So as you can see, all of the animals are very fascinating and they need our help, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Oh, is that a spider? Is that for me, is it? Oh, thank you very much. In fact, you're halfway there, you know, because I want you guys to see if you can find all of those ingredients that you found already on the floor. Pick them up for me and pop them in my magic pot. Do you think you can do that? Yes, off you go then. Do you want the spider back, sweetie? Here, pick up the heart. Here you go, sweetie. Wow, we're going to do a potion. That's okay, it, Dad, you're excited to do a potion? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> wow. That's it. What, I just want to talk about that. He likes the pink. He likes the pink. It's his favourite. That's it. Pink. Oh, yes, we've got some more pieces. He's just throwing it from here. Yes, Happy Halloween! Think I'll miss. I want to throw it back. I think I'll miss. That's it. Well done. Well done. What's that, that one? Oh, What's that one? Oh, What's that one? Oh, What's that one? Oh, that's right. You can go in. Hatchet. That's it. Well done. Oh, they come back then. That's fine. We always think more seat we did the world. That's all right, sweetie, because now we're going to do a magic spell. So all of us are going to stand up. That's it, stand up. We're going to cast a magic spell. And if it works, there might be something for all of you at the end. Oh, it's all right. We're going to wiggle our fingers. Can you wiggle our fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle,
So we're gonna do that. So do you know what? Should I do my outro now? Because I don't, I can't really be bothered to film it. So do you want to say goodbye, James? Goodbye from the weeping angel covering her face. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And here's a very adorable. Look she, she, she ran. <laughs> she ran. She was off then. But, uh, oh, look at that. <gasps> I want to just hug it. I'd really love for you guys to comment because it. I, sometimes I, I check my notifications every day and I just love it when I get a comment you know you still haven't commented on my videos yet you commented on one didn't you yeah well I'll do it yeah flipping comment <laughs> it sounds weird because I'm telling everyone to comment more than I'm telling them to subscribe this outro look at that flipping hell just left we were meant to watch the seals get fed yet at 2 30 but that isn't gonna happen anymore no we're going back through but um yeah uh, I, I already filmed an outro but I realized it was too ridiculous and too long so I'm just gonna do a quick outro now so I really enjoyed today at sea life I bought seahorse keychain and that and it's also three for two so Bess has got one as well uh, Merlin and me will pass this clown which I'm not going to film because you're still my ammo you'll pass this clown is he alive? what do you mean is he alive? yeah he's alive he's just a bit still in he bless him he's dead but yes I'll see you soon everybody Bye.